Hello, everyone, and welcome back to this episode of One Man Stream. In last week's episode, we created this graphic right here, an animated graphic that we created in GT Title Designer. Today, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to bring information into this graphic using a Google Sheet. We'll bring the Google Sheet into our production uh, using data sources, and we'll do that through the uh, hamburger menu. And we'll show you how to do that. We'll need two pieces of information. We'll need a URL and we'll need a Google API key. Then what we'll do is we'll show you how to map that graphic uh, to the information we're bringing in through the Google spreadsheet. We'll have all that information and so much more on today's episode of One Man Stream. And this is our Google Sheet that we're using today. And for demonstration purposes, we've kept it pretty simple. We have a name, age, position, club, country, and then we have an image. Okay, so now that we have the graphic completed, uh, we have to bring uh, the data that we have in our Google Spreadsheet into our graphic. So how do we do that? Well, we go down to the hamburger menu and we click on data sources. And then after we get to data sources, you can see the Google Sheet that we have created for this particular tutorial. And these are the settings. We need a URL and we need a Google API key. Now you'll notice that that is different from uh, when we do an Excel spreadsheet. When we do an Excel spreadsheet, the only thing we need is the URL and that's it. But you'll notice with the Google spreadsheet, we have that additional piece of information where we need the URL and then we also need the Google API key. So now we're going to find out how to get these two pieces of information. This is our actual Google spreadsheet that we're using to populate of the data in our graphic. You'll notice if you go up here under share, if you click share, uh, you want to make sure it says anyone with this link. Uh, there are a couple options. One is restricted. You want to make sure it says anyone with this link. And then you click copy link and the link is copied. So then when you go back to your data source, you have the link copied. You click on here, you right click and paste, and it's gonna put that link in uh, that you copied from right here. So we have the link, and you'll see it comes up in error because we don't have both pieces of information. The second piece of information that we need uh, in this Google spreadsheet is the Google API. Well, how do you get that? Well, I'll show you. What you need to do in your uh, Google search bar, you need to uh, type in cons uh, console Google, and then it's going to pop this up right here, Google Cloud Console. You'll want to click on that. Okay, and then we're going to come to this. And um, it's down here at the bottom. It kind of lets you know where you're at. It's kind of your uh, menu bar. It says now viewing uh, soccer profile demo. The one that we want to go to is just uh, soccer profile. So we're going to click right here. And then we're going to want to scroll down to where it says Google Sheets API. So we'll click there. And then we're going to come up here and click on manage. And then we're going to click credentials. And this is how we get the API right here where it says create credentials. You'll go ahead and click on that uh, bef before I click on the button though. This is the API that I've already created that I'm using in order to get it to work in our tutorial today. Uh, but if you wanted to go and do this from scratch, you'd have to click create credentials and then Click right here where it says API key, and it's gonna churn for just a moment. And then it's gonna bring you this API key. If you click right here, you'll uh, copy it to the keyboard. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then we'll come back over here to our hamburger menu, go back to data sources, go to our Google Sheet, click on settings, paste that API key in here and you can see how our information comes up and it's populated here um, in this table. So that's what that's what you have to do and that's the difference in Google Sheets. You have to make sure you have that additional piece of information uh, which is the API key. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to show you how to map the information uh, from the Google spreadsheet. So we're just going to right click and click on title editor and then here under um, data source. This is the country uh, text. You want to click on data source. There's our Google sheet. 
Uh, we only have one sheet uh, in this Google Sheet that we're using. Uh, so it's always going to be sheet one. In the drop down menu, we're going to click on country. And you can see where country's populated right there. For the next one, which is club text, which is right here. We're going to click on data source. Again, Google Sheets, sheet one from the drop down menu. We're going to make sure it says club. The next piece is position, which is right here. Click on your data source. Make sure it's a Google Sheet, Sheet 1. From the drop-down menu, you'd want to choose position. The next field is age. Again, Google Sheet, Sheet 1. Choose age from the drop-down menu. The last piece is uh, name text. So from the drop down menu, you're going to want to make sure you choose name. And then this is new in vMix 25, text, images, and color. We're going to want to go to images. And then for player image, Google Sheet, Sheet 1. We want to make sure that from the drop down menu, we have image. And there is the path for the image. Um, as you remember from uh, previous tutorials, let's go back to the spreadsheet. When you're bringing in uh, these images, when you're copy and pasting uh, the path uh, for these images, you have to make sure that you take uh, the quotation marks that sometimes come along with them uh, that's going to be at the beginning and, and at the end. You got to make sure you remove those quotation marks. If you don't, your image will not display the way that you want it to. So make sure that when you're copy and pasting or copying the path that you remove those uh, quotation marks from the, the beginning and end of the image path. The last thing we have to show you is the controls uh, here in the vMix UTC layout. The first one is profile overlay and let's take a look at that. The command is overlay input X and I've said this a bunch of times and hopefully uh, uh, everyone remembers this. We use overlay input X as a toggle. Uh, there are other overlay functions. You can do overlay input X in, overlay input X off, overlay input X out. But if you just use the overlay input X, it's going to allow you to use that button as a toggle button. Uh, there's the input that we're uh, going to use. It's the soccer profile uh, graphic that we created. And then we're going to bring that in on overlay three. So let's go ahead and click it. And there comes the graphic and we click it again and the graphic goes away. Now the next button we have here is select player. And the command that we're going to use is data source select row. And I use this button as a starting point. Uh, I have it set for row zero. Row zero is actually the first row in our Google spreadsheet. The name and table, it has to be just like this, Google space sheets, and then a comma, no space, and then the sheet that we're referring to. And with this particular setup, we only have one sheet, so it's gonna be sheet one. Let's go ahead and bring the graphic in. Okay, this button right here is actually going to take us down uh, in our Google Sheet. And this one here is actually going to take us up in our Google Sheet. So let's look at those commands. For the one that's going to take us down in the sheet, it says data source next row. And again, the name and table is Google space sheets, comma, no space, and then sheet one. And then the button that's going to take us back or up in the table. This one here is data source previous row. And again, the exact same name and table, Google Sheets, space between Google and Sheets, comma, no space, and then sheet one. Well, that's going to include our, our tutorial for today, which was bringing data into our GT title designer created graphic uh, through a Google spreadsheet. I hope you find it informative. If you like what we're doing here, please give us a thumbs up and a like, and make sure that you do subscribe so that you'll be alerted as soon as new videos are posted. Thank you very much.